Hey guys, Mr. Regan here, and we're going to be looking at how to use our Harnessing Human Energy simulator here, um, the simulator that you hopefully have been exploring and has some familiarity with, and we're going to be looking at specifically uh, not only how to build a system within our simulator, but how to run it and how to analyze what is happening within it. And to do that, I'm going to create a system for you guys um, to kind of show you the different components and different characteristics of the simulator. So to start, we got two boxes here. We have the select energy source where you can select the different types of energy that we're gonna be putting into our system. Now notice each one is slightly different than the other. There is this uh, toggle here in terms of how much energy you can put into the system for some of them, for others, not so much. So we're gonna start with the crank here as our uh, energy source that's going to be putting energy into our system and we're going to start adding different things into our system to make it run and to make it work now if you notice each of our different sources has a little puzzle piece here that matches up with different puzzle pieces here so what we're going to do is we're going to need to make sure we match up that puzzle piece so in this case i'm going to take one that looks like it and when i do that you'll notice it fits nicely if you pick one that doesn't fit nicely obviously it won't stick together and then obviously that system won't run properly. Now you can add in different um, components to your system to make it more and more complex if you want. So I can add in this ball launcher here. I can even move and toggle over at the bottom here to look at different options. I can add in a spring. Notice it has that kind of three prong crown looking puzzle piece and notice all the pieces fit together. Now, when I feel like my system's done or I feel like I'm done creating a system that I may or may not need, then you're gonna hit the run button up here. Notice we have our three dots here to kind of show you the build, run, and analyze phases of our simulator. When I hit run, notice it's prompting me to use the crank. So I'm gonna click and drag and notice that number at the very top is changing every time I move my crank in a circle, okay? I am increasing the amount of energy that's coming into my system here and when I get to 100, I obviously can't do any more. Now, as I'm cranking, you're going to notice some things popping up in the very top, but this big blue transfer button is the first thing hopefully we notice. Whenever we see these, we need to click on them to allow energy to be transferred from one part of our system to another, and it will even tell us what kind of energy is being transferred from one place to the other, and I can continue to do that. Now, Notice different things are lighting up to explain kind of what's going on and what energy is being used. And we can watch this as long as we want. Now, in the top left corner, you notice the analyze button is flashing, meaning this simulator is ready to analyze what's going on in here. And when I click on it, you'll see all this information at the bottom kind of pop up, okay? We got a few graphs here, things to do with energy transfer, energy in the system, energy transferred out. And we have this blue toggle button here. If I drag this toggle button, you'll see a few things change. Number one, the graphs are gonna change at the bottom. And number two, the system is gonna go in reverse at the top. So when I get to the very end here, if you notice I got a play button in the top right corner, I can actually watch the system in action and watch the graph change to record what's occurring in my system. Now, once it gets to the very end, obviously you'll have all the information you need. It'll also show how the graphs change over time in reverse and so on. If you want to pause it, you can. And if you want to rebuild your system, obviously you can just click on the build button. And from here, if you want to rebuild, there's a rebuild button in the top right corner. Just hit yes and you get to start over. So that's how we utilize our Harnessing Human Energy Simulator. If you have any questions, reach out. Otherwise, good luck.